Hey staff, May is CTE month. That means we're going to give you a tour of the CTE program. Well, maybe we'll give you a tour of the CTE people. My name is Mr. Harris. Uh, I'm an automotive instructor here at Summers Road High School Automotive. I teach intro to automotive, uh, which is a quarterly class, an introduction to the you know, uh, automotive program here, and I teach auto tech one and two. Intro, um, intro we get our hands dirty. We learn about how to use tools at a real basic uh, level, I learn how to do oil changes, uh, basic ownership um, process and, and procedure uh, for being a vehicle owner and being able to, to do your own work with a vehicle. Auto Tech usually has somewhere in the area of 15 to 16 kids. Intro class usually has something in the area of about 15 to 16 kids. Two years here in the automotive program will get you a, uh, an ASE student certification, which is basically a, a certificate to say that the ASE or Automotive Service Excellence Foundation has uh, approved your um, body of knowledge and uh, agrees that you're ready to go out into the working world and get more education, if that's what you decide to do, or uh, start working at a dealership or garage. The automotive industry is, a, is considered an essential uh, uh, service, an essential business. Um, people still need to get around, be able to go to work as necessary. Um, fleet vehicles uh, for cities and states need to be able to do their jobs appropriately. Um, and uh, larger transportation industry still needs to work. So everybody I know that is a mechanic may have had some of their hours cut back a little bit, but they are still going into the shop every day and they still have a lot of work to do. So it's very important to recognize how much value this business has to your city or your state or your country. And, uh, and it's really important to, to remember that but it's also important to consider that it's a, it's a big money maker. You know, your average mechanic's making somewhere in the area of fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year, even in the first five years of uh, of business. So that's uh, that's important. You can do really well for mechanics, and you can take it anywhere as well. Uh, Mr. Harris, I teach Summersworth. Uh, <laughs> I just teach medical assistant, um, and I have juniors the first year, and I have the seniors the second year. Um, and when they graduate, they will graduate with their phlebotomy and their MA. Some kids uh, kind of know this is what they want to do their first year. And when they pass their phlebotomy exam, I think it kind of gives them a little boost to say that, oh, I can do this. Um, this is a, like a college course. This, we use the same certification as Great Bay and most of the other MA medical assistant schools around here. So I think they're, when I say that to them, I think at first they feel a little intimidated, but then they realize that um, they're like, oh, this is kind of something that's going to help my life later on. Yeah. And it will help them go for when they want to go to school, nursing school or PA school. The nice thing about this program is it's two years, so they I can stretch it out and spend more time with the kids and they kind of get it more. Um, I have a couple nurse managers from Frisbee that come and do mock interviews with the students and it gives them pointers on what to do for interviewing and get them call it like get them ready for a job and um, that seems the student seems to like that and they they seem to understand like wh wh how important it is um, their soft skills mm -hmm. communication skills and how you present yourself to someone this program definitely gets you ready for college I mean, this is hard course. So if they can do this, they can do college courses. I have 11 students this year uh, that are gonna be seniors. The juniors are gonna be seniors. And then I am totally full this year. I think I have 16 kids for the coming up year.